those are one of my favorite paintings. I hope one day my mom will give me one of these, especially this one. I love it. That's my dad with all the world leaders. Jacques Chirac and Mobutu. That must be that must be in China. I think I was there. Nixon, Abdul Diouf, Pope Jean Paul II. That's my dad with Castro. Congolese President Mobutu and probably Mao. Sarkozy. Our actual president, ex-president of Ivory Coast, Amin Dada, my late grandma, I don't even know to say who it is, Jacques Chirac, ex-French president, Keisha, president of Sushi <laughs> Uh, what was the name of this guy? That's the hero from. And yeah, there's more. There's more. Like. My mom and dad in Tahiti or someplace like that. President of the rebels. You know, when I look at all these photos, it reminds me of the legacy and how much I'm the son of a great man and how much the shoes that I have to fill are huge and uh, it always keeps me humble uh, no matter how much money I can make no matter how much famous I can be no matter you know how much people love me um, I'm still far away from my dad's accomplishments it's a motivation uh, I, I really used to not accept myself and sometimes be ashamed because the way people make you feel like you don't deserve nothing and stuff and and now it's completely different it gives me motivation every day to you know to feel like uh, your father accomplished great things and and uh, you also have great things to accomplish in your own lane and uh, the sky's the limit you know wow 14 years ago, I became a father, and uh, I had no experience, I actually had no idea what I was about to do, I was scared as fucked, wait a second, much better, I was scared as fuck, and um, now I have 14 years of experience, and uh, I'm about to be a father again. Yes, as you can see, I borrowed a t-shirt for my dad and uh, been at home every day, chilling, resting. You need that sometimes. Uh, oh, c'est quoi ça? C'est la Ah ouais? Il y a une petite évacuation. You know, if there's one thing that we are never told is what happens after success like beyond. Everybody dreams to be successful, everybody dreams to have a hit song, everybody dreams to, you know, do something great. And everybody tells you what to do to get there, you need a great song, that you need to have the radios, play them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But never, nobody ever tells you that. After one year, two years, three years, this um, success wears down. It's normal. At a point, the people who used to love you and be your crazy fans they just become people that respect you and then once somebody saw you performing 10 times 20 times 30 times they start coming to your show because they've seen you already uh, then you're, all, you're always all gonna have the super fans but then the, the normal people they get used to you and it's, it's like um, the way I see it is, is it's like planes planes they need a lot of uh, fuel and to do a lot of combustion to take off. That's, that's really when they take the most energy to, to get up. 
to arrive in the sky. Once they're there, they get to cruise mode. In the cruise mode, you just cruise control. You just go there until you land at your destination. And what everybody is dreaming of and what everybody's teaching you is how to do this. But then doing this and staying there and like building a career is a complete different job. And uh, if there's only one thing that I can, one advice that I can give to the people who want to have long careers and not just be one hit wonders is don't only learn to take off, also learn to cruise control, to stay in altitude. Don't be hungry for uh, the shine, the success. Understand that after that, there's something else. Uh, I had my first big, big hit in 98. That was Bounce Baby. Then I had my second huge hit and probably one of my biggest hits in like all African hit was in 2003, Keshawn Dikwa. Then after that, I had um, a lot of small hits and stuff. But then after that, I, have, I had One Love in 2004 and Question My Heart in 2005. And then I can say that I had uh, Bien Plus Fort Que Mes Mots around 2008 or 9. And uh, probably we can say the cover of Diamonds was also a big, big tune. But after my first... I would say that Ondiqua is really my biggest, biggest, biggest hit. And after that, a lot of people think that you disappear because they, they, you're not on their radar anymore. But it doesn't mean that you cannot have a career. It's just that you are not pursuing the, you know, the fame, that, that, that moment, that, the adrenaline of people going crazy about you. This wears off. It's normal. Uh, because there's, there's something that I, I like to say is that we are only new one time. Somebody sees you the first time or hear you the first time, he's gonna love you the first time. Then after that, yeah, you become part of their lives and even if they keep listening to their songs, they will not be crazy like they were before. I had a lot of fans that they were 20 years old back then, they were faint, they would go crazy, cry when I was performing. Today, they are 40 years old. They don't give a fuck, like, they, they, oh, I used to love your songs, but they're not gonna act like you know, crazy fans 20 years after, it's normal. And um, as us artists, we have to understand how to grow old. There's something after, you have to build a career, you have to start uh, thinking differently and not just strive to that, the cocaine, because fame is like cocaine. Uh, a lot of people, they do this because they're looking for the fame, they're looking for the, the the masses screaming their names and stuff. This is this is this is hard drugs. Uh, I've never did this for that. I really did this because I wanted to express myself. You see, um, uh, probably because I have a different education, uh, I was really interested in making music. I really wanted just to make music. Success was not even part of what I was interested in. And when success came, I accepted it, but I was not obsessed by it. J'étais en train de répondre à mes commentaires YouTube. Hé, hey, c'était comment l'école T'as pas chaud comme ça Non. Ça a Très bien. Non, j'aime j'aime l'école, mais mais c'est 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 <rire> non, parce qu'après, il faut payer le loyer. <rire> tu vas aller jouer en Chine pour 30 millions par an. Et tu vas, oui, me, donner, je en Chine. Et tu vas me donner 10%. Oui, oui. Merci, mon fils. Je, oui. je t'aime. <rire>
Oh yeah. Now we're building clubs. Look at this. So you're building a club? So you're building a club? We're coming back. Alright. Kesha on opening. But this time on your own on your own club. That's what I'm talking about. Be ready, be ready. This place is gonna be nice when it's done. Uh huh. It's gonna be the bar. The bar is gonna be there. Yeah. There's gonna be a bar here and a bar there. Another bar. Three bars. Uh huh. There's gonna be a VIP. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Bar. 